This has never happened to me before, but I've always wanted it to happen. I just found somebody's snuffer bottle. Seriously. Like what the <laughs> The best way to predict the future is to create it. Good morning or good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to the channel if you are new to it. My name is Polly. Today is gonna to be somewhat of a casual day because today we are along the Souk River, which is actually really easy to get to and is where I first started filming my gold hunting adventures. The reason why we are along the Souk River today and not at the usual place that we go to is because I wanted to switch it up just a little bit and well, honestly, I just brought my car today and that thing is not gonna make it up the back roads, trust me. Now the spot I'm taking you today is my favorite place to go to along this river. However, it is also where I ran into my biggest bear. Dropped my phone in the water. Can you grab my phone? And found my first picker. Those are some good odds. Anyways, without wasting any more time. La, 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 la. Wait. I wasn't done talking. Okay now, but with cinematic features and music. Ah. So what I wanna do today is go back to where I first started finding gold a whole two years ago, which is literally just like right here. I was always told to look for bedrock and as you can see, lots of bedrock, but more importantly, cracks. Gold being super heavy, the cracks is where the gold will hide. And there's tons of cracks here. And from what I remember last time, a lot of gold. I'm just gonna start out in this little area right here because I just broke this piece off as it was super loose. And there's a lot of material in between here. And I have a brush and I never bring a brush. So let's clean this out. Okay, so here's a rough cleanup of what I just did. The material is now in the pan, but check that out. We have our first piece of surface gold. I don't know if you can even see it, but I'm gonna put that in our, did I get it? I did, in our schnuffle bottle. I don't recommend using a paintbrush, they suck. <laughs> you end up just petting the material rather than actually removing it, so don't use. Now let's do our test pan. It's important you mix all this up. You want to get, you want to separate everything. Just taking that top material off, letting the water do the work. In this area, you got to be a little bit more careful than the other area that I go to because the gold is a lot smaller here, so it's much easier to lose. <clears throat> All right, was there anything on the surface? Uh, come on, Polly. Oh yeah, we have a little bit of stuff. Here, let me get a close up. Okay, there we go. Some micro pieces of gold at the top of the black sand there. Uh, minus that one piece that we saw with our eyes, but overall, not too big. Let's keep going. So those tiny pieces of gold are what we call flood gold. And all flood gold is, is exactly what it sounds. It's tiny pieces of gold that get carried away during a flood. Now, the bigger pieces of gold won't move the same way as the flood gold will. They will actually be hiding deeper into the bedrock. So what we're gonna do now is try to open up some of this loose bedrock, clean it out the best we can, and hopefully I get to show you guys a good example. See how loose all this stuff is? That can go in our pan. We want to rinse off all this rock. All this bedrock. I just found another tiny piece of surface gold. Sweet! So I went as deep as it would allow me to go and did the same thing down here. And this is what we have. Well, I gotta go pan it out. So it looks just like our last pan. So either I didn't go deep enough or the gold wasn't there or I suck. Okay, I love when this happens. <laughs> I was continuing along this crack when I thought I was done here, but then I started loosening pieces of bedrock that were in there, so I pulled them out and I was about to go pan it. But look at that. <laughs> There's a piece of gold stuck to the rock. It's a decent flake too. 
Let's go pan it out anyway. It's better to reveal it that way. Okay. <laughs> it's still there. That'd be cool if that was actually a part of the rock and this was a big specimen. Let's check the other one. Nope. There might be more gold in here too. Gold that I did not see. There she is. <laughs> Yay. We got some flood gold in there too, but I like this one. It's really flat. It looks like one of those pieces you would find at the Pickerton clam. Still not too bag. Let's keep on rolling. I really, really like it here. I take it for granted. Haha, <laughs> pun. But no, I take it for granted though. I mean, I don't realize the piece that I'm in. We have fresh air, green trees, fresh water. We could literally drink this water. Um, no one around. Yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty good. No bears today, that's awesome. Anyways, so the last time I was here, I remember using my suction tool and sucking out all these little cracks and crevices. I remember finding pennies, bullets, a little bit of gold, but since then a lot here has changed. It looks like somebody has been trying to work here. From the looks of it, it looks like there was a big piece of bedrock right here that's, I don't see it, but that's now removed. But look, there's a ton of material still in here and loose bedrock, so let's try this spot. Okay, so what I noticed is there's a crack that runs down here and there's a crack that runs down in here. So it's just this nice V pocket. We cleaned it out the best we could. I didn't see any gold while I was cleaning it out, but there's only really one way to find out if there's anything in here. Okay, so I'm gonna fast forward this because, because yeah. Okay, so my battery died while I was panning, but we found three little pieces of gold in that pan. Not very big. There's one piece in there that looks alright, but I think we can do better. But where? So that's where we were. And ideally, I would like to remove this big chunk of bedrock right here. There's a crack down there, but the crack hasn't developed yet here, so there's no point trying to remove that. So I think I'm gonna come back here in about 2,000 years. Okay. This has never happened to me before, but I've always wanted it to happen. Uh, this is where I'm eating. I'm just enjoying myself and I came up here to I don't want to say it but exercise some public urination and I just found somebody's snuffer bottle. Seriously, like what the <laughs> There's actually initials on it and it's missing a straw. I have a I have a lot of questions. Why is there a snuffer bottle? in this tree, why is it missing a straw? And who is JD? Um, for those of you who don't know, uh, snuffer ball is what, is what we use to suck up the gold when we find gold. This is the same one I use, except mine has a straw and no initials. I, it's not, I, I, to me, I don't even care what is in here. It's the fact that so many people lose snuffer bottles in this look gold prospecting game and we never find them and we always joke about oh what if you found some snuffer bottle and with gold in it or something cool blah, blah, blah. it's it's always a joke but you never actually find them and i have some serious questions like i almost feel like this was put here because someone knew i was coming here which is impossible because i don't tell anybody where i'm going except my my partners um i'm gonna dump this out here's a comparison same bottle I use, except I have a lid. My guess is, now that I'm feeling it, it sounds like there's lead in here, some lead weights or some sort of thing, and they tried using a bigger straw. And that's typically what I would like to do when I go sniping. I like to use a bigger straw and I weigh my stuff down when I'm underwater. But there's no exposed bedrock in this area that I could see. 
like underwater, so. Why are you in a tree? Okay, so sure enough, like I thought, there is actually gold in here. There is some nails. The lead weights I thought were lead were actually just rocks. And yeah, um, I don't know what to say. What do I say? For sure, this gold came from this area. Um, this looks like a typical full day of mining gold here, like along this river. Um, I, I don't know what to say. Okay, so <laughs> I don't want to keep talking about this, but JD, if you are real and you're watching this, I have your gold. Which, by the way, I think I'm going to have to owe you gold now because you, mister, don't have a straw and I only have one stuffer bottle. Um, <laughs> So I'm gonna suck this up and then I'm gonna go finish my lunch. We're gonna go upstream and hopefully find more bottles of gold. So I walked downstream just a little bit and I found this big outcrop of bedrock. Did some scratching around and I believe I found a crevice that hasn't been cleaned out before because there is packed rock in here. So I'm just gonna clean all this out and see how far I can work and see what we get so I just did a really quick pan of the surface stuff we found two microscopic little pieces but nothing really worth doing a backflip over but now we're down to the better stickier deeper bits so I cleaned out this crevice the best I could using some scratching followed by brushing and we have a little bit of material to pan out so let's pan her So, in that crevice, what did we find? Is there gold? I don't know. Oh, I got a couple pieces. All right. Sweet. So, it's more gold than I thought would be in that crack, to be honest, with a bunch of little fly poop. And we have one decent little flake. It's no huge gold deposit, but it will have to do. So after doing some more exploration and doing a few more pans, actually in the crevices down over there, I was only able to find more flood gold. So just a tiny bit of gold, but I think I'm gonna call it a day. Today wasn't a bad day though. We went out to look for gold. We found gold. We're in a new area for once and there's no bears. I like to highlight that. There was no bears today, and I enjoy that. Anyways, let's go back to the house. So, we have the gold cleaned up, but to be honest, it kind of sucks that most of it's not mine. Well, I guess it is now, but we'll see. All right, most of this gold was found in a crevice, <laughs> in a tree, but I will take credit for at least half of it and that AU to full flat flake there. And thanks to our mystery person, more garbage out of our rivers. Let's see what we got. <sighs> 0 0.40 grams. All right. So I wasn't actually planning on going out this morning, to be honest, but I'm sure glad I did because this makes for an interesting video for one. And for two, if I was just gonna wait till tomorrow to film, I would have taken the truck, which means I would have gone to a completely different area, which also means our JD friend would have been lost forever. But hopefully this video reaches him and we can reunite him with his empty bottle. <laughs> If you enjoyed this video, chances are you're going to enjoy what I've previously posted and what's coming up in the very near future. So please don't hesitate to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, it's absolutely free. And if you're interested to see anything else extra like behind the scenes footage, please feel free to check me out on my social media as I post a lot on there. For those of you who wanna wear your support, I do have a merchandise store open and the link is in the description below. Like always, thank you for watching. Thank you so much for your support. And until the next one, I... We'll see you later. I take it for granted. Haha, <laughs> pun.